Was it that way? I think so. I feel like we're being watched at the moment. Especially with the letters saying something about like waiting from afar or whatever. Yeah. Something's but, moving over there. What was that? Did you see? I don't know. It's just like a printed picture of a who I assume would be Ruth. Then around 11 p.m. I can hear screaming as if someone is getting murdered. Someone back there? What the hell is that? Are we like on the hunt of like a murderer right now? Is that what's uh, happening? Either on the hunt or being hunted. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Randonautica adventure. We are finally back in Canada. Um, we've been back for a few days now. Yep. And we decided um, that we're gonna start filming a bunch of Randonautica series and uh, see what the hell we can discover and find out here. So, um, basically we ran the first intent and it is telling us that it is in this forest. Now, we were here the other day, Randonautica, Randonautica actually brought us to this forest, and we found some really weird stuff during the day, we encountered some people, they said some weird stuff, um, but what was weirder was the stuff that we actually found. That was up on the vlog channel. If you're not following the vlog channel, go and subscribe, because uh, we put a lot of behind the scenes stuff, extra Randonautica content on there for you as well, and uh, so on and so forth. So, we decided that we would come, post up, and run an intent and see exactly where it takes us, whether it takes us back into the town or whether it takes us back into the forest. And it looks like it's taking us back into the forest, um, almost pretty much the exact same point as the very first time, which is very strange. Use the intent, untold story, that one is from Retro Tomato on Twitter. So shout out to you, thank you for the intent. If thank you guys you. wanna take part, go and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, I always ask you guys for intents that you guys want us to use in these videos. Apart from that, I do have a uh, special surprise. Uh, essentially, we are starting another channel. We're not gonna stop doing this content, we're not gonna stop doing the content on the vlogs, we are gonna keep traveling, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, decided we were going to begin a podcast. It's a brand new adventure for us. None of us have I've ever done any of this. Um, so basically, there's gonna be a few of us co-hosts. Uh, Frank's gonna be on the show, of course. I'm gonna be the main host. And my good friend Moshio is gonna be one of our hosts as well. And we're obviously gonna have guests here and there when possible. Um, but yeah, definitely go and show us some love and support on there before we get started. And uh, we're actually in the midst of getting everything set up. It's, uh, it's a lot of work. Definitely there's a lot of planning that's gonna go into this. So definitely go down, look for the link. It'll be in the description and the pinned comment. Go and uh, go to that channel, subscribe, turn notifications on, and uh, we'll probably have some fresh content up there in like the next three weeks. I don't know exactly when, I don't have an exact time frame, but it's coming. So, um, Frank and I are out here now, ready to go. Yep. And uh, it's already getting kind of spooky. We're hearing something yelling. I don't know if it was coyotes or. I, uh, I feel like it sounded people. like people. It did sound like people. It definitely sounded like so people. So either somebody's having a really good time in the forest or somebody's having a really good time in the forest. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're about to go and find out. Uh, yeah, let's do this, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh. You know, it's actually very comfortable outside tonight. It is. It's actually very beautiful. Yeah. It's, uh, it would be nice if it was a little warmer. Yeah, a few degrees. Yeah, I wouldn't mind like an extra, you know, three, four yeah. degrees. That'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. So, um, just to let you guys know, there is actually some footage that we do have remaining from Arizona. It's probably about 30 to 40 minutes, which I'll include towards the end of this video. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna start out here first and then you guys will get to basically see that. Skip my mind, forgot to mention it. There's so many things happening, I have to remember <laughs> all these things. <laughs> okay, I think it was, yeah, this way. Oh, there's uh, <clears throat> what the hell is that? I don't know. There's like a yellow thing and a purple thing. Okay. Okay. That's trail markers? Maybe? 
I mean, I don't really recall yeah, seeing them like that. Yeah, those don't really but... look like trail markers, if you ask Have you ever me. seen a purple trail marker? Mm, no. I do know in the States, certain colors, but usually it's like ribbons, are like meant for trespassing or whatever. Right. Um, like private property markers kind of thing. Yeah, that's not a marker. That is a frog. Where is it? I don't know. But it sounds <laughs> really big. It startled me. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds big. Hello, Mr. Froggy. Okay, but uh, anyways, we have a lay, apparently, for some odd reason. So, should I expect like a limbo bar? <laughs> maybe. Like I said, maybe somebody's having a really good time out here. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Okay. What the hell? What the? No, that was this way. Was it that way? I think so. Dude, that was like somebody like laughing hysterically. Yeah. What the hell? What the f it is really loud in here. Yeah, it's very loud. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there's another down there. Oh, what the hell? Mm, see that? Yeah. And there was it. Where was the purple one? Did we pass it? It's right there. Oh. Yeah. I literally walked right by it. Okay. So is this like the local hangout for people? Like just in the middle of the forest? Uh, Late at night in the darkness? I mean, just leaving your sh stuff behind? Yeah, putting lays. Yeah, look at that. It's got like a red flower yeah. on it. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. Uh, so I think we're supposed to go this way. Hello? It's like something on the floor there on the path. Oh yeah. It's a monkey. Yeah, it's a monkey. <laughs> you okay? Do you think that's an insult? What do you mean? Well, calling us a monkey or something. Mm, I don't think so. I mean, not if somebody just randomly dropped it. There's another thing here, though. This one, I don't know what that one is. Kind of looks like a stop sign with a face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Kinda, it does. Right? Yeah, no, it does. It's got all the. <laughs> oh, there's something there, too. What the See hell? That? Oh, it's there's shiny. Like a red thing, yeah. What the hell? Whoa, it, whoa, what the hell was that? There's nothing there. There's literally nothing there. Was there something there? Wow. <laughs> what? what the hell? How did that happen? Then that one too is wiggling over there. Yeah. Okay, okay. there must have been something, something must have there. jumped There's out. There's no way. That was funny. Unless it's just a haunted tree. Hello, I tree, are you haunted? <laughs> Better watch out. It might wrap its roots around you. Can you tell us your name? <laughs> I think this tree's seen better days. Huh. What the f was that? I don't know. It was like from down there. It's not supposed to thunder tonight, is it? The, um, not that I've seen. Okay. What the hell is that? I don't know. Isn't that like the Nutcracker dude? I don't know. No. It's got like a little house on it. And it says... Is it a, supposed to be a bee? If that says boom, I'm a little scared of you holding that right now. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> it kind of looks like it opens. Why does it say boom? Be careful. Oh. What the hell? 
deck was that stuff? I don't know. Okay. We're just gonna put Mr. Boom back in uh, in his place. You can just stay there, Mr. Boom. Yeah, don't touch your mouth. Yeah, I don't, God only knows what the hell that powder was. I don't know what that was. It was empty though. It wasn't really like apart from the dustiness. Well, that's all I'm worried about. Yeah. There's something else there too. Hello? Oh, let's just say boom too. It says hmm. open me. Several times. I'm gonna stand a little farther back just in case. Okay, so no boom. No boom. Oh, yes, boom. Oh my god. What the f Sorry, guys, I know it's a little bright on the. <laughs> what is going on right boom. now? There we go. Okay. That's interesting, to say the least. Oh, oh damn, that stupid reflection scared the crap out uh, of me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Felt okay, like somebody, but I seen so, somebody there. Oh, there's something that kind of like written on it. Uh, I can't even make that out. <sighs> Me neither. It's like C J X button or something. I don't know. If you guys can read that, let me know what that says down in the comments. Yeah. What the, what the f was that? Now that was a boom. That almost kind of sounded like a gunshot. I was gonna say the same yeah. thing. You like? Is this a hunting area? No. It's not even, I don't even think it's season. Right. Okay. And we have very strict rules around here, guys. Like, yeah, it's, it's so not a just... lot of you guys um, make comments like, oh, you should be caring, etc., etc. Um, we would love to, but unfortunately, here in Canada, we don't have something called a Second Amendment like most of you guys have in the United States. So, we don't have what's called constitutional carry. We're not allowed to conceal carry, anything like that. Um, the rules, like Frank said, are extremely strict. You need to hold two licenses. Um, this actually could be a topic for our podcast. Yeah. We could talk about this. Yeah. But yeah, basically in Canada, you're not allowed to carry guns. Not even for self-defense. It's just not allowed. We have a knife. That's about all we got because that's what we're allowed to and carry. And even some of those are illegal. Yeah. So you got to be very careful. What was that? What is going on tonight? I don't know. We keep hearing like yelling and right. Um. Yeah. So that's pretty much that. So the reason why we don't carry guns is because we're not allowed to, unfortunately. And even if we were allowed to and we used it, hypothetically speaking, we'd be the ones charged anyway. Depends. depends. Most likely. It's uh, self-defense laws here in Canada are kind of strange. Yeah. But yeah. We'll save that topic for another day, <laughs> but just to kind of let you guys know. Because you guys, I see comments all the time. Oh, you guys better be carrying. You better be carrying. It's like, we can't. We'll go to jail. <laughs> yeah. If we're caught carrying a weapon out in the open, you are in big trouble over here. Um, so, yeah. It would be nice. It would be. I'd feel more safe, but. Yeah. What does this say? I never mm. even noticed this the other day. In memory of Robert Hugh Maxwell, July 18, 1962 to June 13, 2014. Oh, that's nice. They planted a tree in his honor. That's cool. Yeah. That'd be something nice to have. So when I'm dead, just plant like Make you a palm into a tree? tree or something. Okay. Yeah. So we'll put you in Florida. Sure. I mean, you don't have to put the tree where I am just do it somewhere okay <laughs> just like so just go to like a beach or something in Florida and just literally put a plaque and just a random palm tree just in my honor That'd are you be gonna cool. be cremated mm, I have no intentions to be cremated well then I could put your ashes with the tree I mean well, that's yeah. only saying that I live longer than you I mean, but I don't think we're supposed knows? to technically as Catholics uh I seen this thing online where you actually can like bury people with a tree and they grow the roots oh, really? actually consume them well, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, the only one in my family that I know is cremated is my grandfather. So, I don't know. That was just his decision. He wanted yeah. to do it. So, we did it. Um, okay. So, it looks like we have to go back towards where that bridge area is. <sighs> oh. 
the spider web here. I'm just trying to see which way it runs. I think that, oh no, it's a web. It's straight down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I hear something. I just can't tell where it's coming yeah. from. Like, it sounds like someone's yelling or doing something. I got no idea. Okay, that might just be something. I don't know. Sounds like a man screaming at the right? same time. Far off in the distance. Yeah. It's weird. It is weird. Uh, anybody out here need some assistance? How are we doing uh, battery wise? Uh, Cause I haven't changed it Might yet. need to change it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I guess we'll change it before we continue. Okay, so we uh, changed the battery and uh, we are now good to go. So for a second we heard something like, sounded like something was walking around. Yeah. Hunting us, basically. Could be. When the ghosts <laughs> hunt the living or something. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. He's being lost. Lost in the sauce. What is that? That is... That is... Monkeys in a bag. Mo what? what? <laughs> monkeys in a bag? Wait, we just found a monkey. <laughs> but he was on the floor. What the hell? Okay. I was really hoping for a pet monkey. Caution. Cudado. Isn't that Spanish? Yeah. I think. Don't quote me on that. What the f Let me just put the bag. Oh, there's something in here. A little wooden monkey. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? Hang on, let me get this to focus yeah. here. There we go. That's weird. There's a piece of paper in here too. Okay. So we got monkeys in a bag, which was in a tree, which was in a forest. I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I guess that kind of <laughs> yeah, makes, makes sense. <laughs> so, do you like monkeys? I do. If you do too, I will give you one for the small price of 1,212 bananas. You can't have this one. He is mine. I'll be observing from afar. Thank you. Really? And we heard stuff in the And we heard background. something. When we first pulled up, like, we full-on heard what yeah. sounded like a dude, like... I don't know what he was doing, but... Okay. Um, you hear that? I just heard a woman's voice so that... I don't know how I heard it out that way, but that way. I don't know. I don't hear anything now. Mm. There's like a... Hmm. We're just going to put the Kudato and the stuff back in the bag. And, yeah. Uh, we'll just... Uh, you we can keep your monkey. I was going to say, we don't want um, your monkey. <laughs> if I somehow come up with 1,200 and some odd number of bananas, I will maybe consider the offer. That's... What? No, that was different. So we're not even at our point yet. Um, How far in do you it think? It looked it... like it was more or less the same spot as the first time we came here, which would have been roughly around where the bridge is. Oh, I forgot there's even a bridge here. Yeah. Nice and mushy. Oh, yeah. As you guys can see, the ground just melts. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't want to fall in that. Nope. Make for a sticky situation. A little bit. Something like that. It's a pretty cool area, though. It is. All over. The hell was that? What'd you hear? I go, ah! See, I heard something similar from a female voice before. I don't know if it's like an animal or if that's like a 
human? I don't see nothing. There's the bridge. Oh yeah. The beginning of it anyway. Sounds like something's walking around out there. Yeah. What the hell? That was a person. Yeah. I was like, hey. Okay, so it's similar to what I heard. Yeah. Okay, that's a dog. <laughs> so maybe there's a property there? I don't know. I don't see any lights. I Me mean, neither. That, that's a good point. So <laughs> right? I'm guessing the houses must be pretty far. That sounded a lot closer than the distance where oh, the yeah. dog is, though. So we made it to the bridge. Yeah, it sounded like it was like from down there somewhere, but there's literally nothing there's there. There's nothing there's there, no yeah. There's no houses or anything. Okay. Oh. There's a... Whoa. Ooh. There's a that. Okay. Got a uh, letter. Okay. What? Oh, it's battery it's supposed to power? do something. What the hell did a flower do? I don't know. Does it grow? <laughs> Maybe it does. <laughs> I guess the batteries are dead. <laughs> Come on, on man. Why? Why people taping? Sounds like people. I know. But where? <laughs> There's no lights or anything anywhere. I'm having the same dilemma. Let me guess. Something to do with monkeys? <laughs> <laughs> do you like flour? I do. I will cut you a deal. I will give you a flower for the reasonable price of 1,216 dolphins. What, what, what the hell? Where the f*** am I supposed to get even one dolphin <laughs> yeah. from? Please consider my offer. I will be watching from afar. Okay, that's weird what the hell? and very concerning. <laughs> you can't have this flower though since it is mine. Thank you. Really? And that's it. Yeah. That's I mean, at least the bananas was somewhat reasonable. The dolphins. Right? I mean, that's a lot of bananas, though. Like bananas yeah. are with infl with just inflation right now. Bananas <laughs> are kind of pricey. Like they used to cost like two dollars for like a bunch. Now it's like five dollars. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> and also the fact that are we talking about one monkey, like a real monkey? Well, I hope so. Because 1,200 and whatever bananas for one wooden monkey does not seem that reasonable. Uh, no, I want uh, a live monkey. Okay, so that's kind of weird as f Uh. So the point was like somewhere around here. What is that? What? Oh, there's like a white thing in the tree down there. See that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bet you it's just somebody's trash again. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least no Tim Hortons cups. Not one. You know why? Because now they're melting. They're actually like <laughs> they're decomposed. Melting. It's gonna With take a lot longer to melt those. Okay, that's really that's not creepy. A what the hell? <laughs> what? Uh, okay. What the? F you ugly. Dude, that is just, that is just unwelcoming and unsettling to say the least. I don't like. Why is there just a random porcelain doll? Okay. And she looks like angry. Oh, yeah. more tape. I also heard something down there.
Hello? Howdy doodly? I thought I just heard a footstep down that way. Yeah, I'm hearing that too. This is Dolly. Do you like Dolly? I do. She is a good Dolly. If you would like her, I will give you her for the small price of one monkey. Ooh, this is a bartering system over here. Right. How does that sound? Let me know. Thank you. Okay. I don't like the doll. So you don't want to trade a monkey? No, I'll keep the monkey. If I can get a monkey, I'll Do keep the monkey. Do you have enough bananas? Well, I don't know. We're going to need bananas. We're going to find some bananas. A lot of them. Um, okay. Just, I don't uh, even know what a thousand two hundred and something bananas would look like. I don't know either. <laughs> I would love to honestly know what one thousand two hundred and bajillion bananas would look like. That'd be <laughs> kind of cool. Um, okay, is like someone f around out here? Like, what? What is the deal with all this? I don't understand. I don't this is some weird stuff. Somebody likes bananas. That's all I know. That's yeah. That's a guarantee they like bananas. I mean, I like bananas too. They're just very high in sugar. <laughs> so I try not to eat too many bananas. Okay. What is this shiny thing around the tree? Oh, it's like a ribbon. Oh, yeah. It's pretty random. Whoa, what the hell? You heard that too? It was like, oh. Wait. Something's down there. I don't see anything though. Hello? Looks, Anybody down there? Isn't that somewhere like here? I don't know. I feel like we're being watched at the moment. Especially with the letters saying something about like waiting from afar or whatever. Yeah. That's very unsettling. Is there someone? Whoa! What the? What is that? What? All right. Someone is like with us. How the hell did anything move? There's nothing here. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? I don't. Okay, those those are geese. geese. Canadian raptors. Yeah. <laughs> Savages, those bastards. When they're pissed off, they're pissed off. Yeah. I swear I saw something move down there. Wanna take a walk in? Uh I don't know. It looks kinda dense from that bit. side anyways. Hello? I don't know. I don't know what to make of no. the stuff that we found. Um, the unsettling feeling of being watched and probably followed as we get deeper and deeper into here. Yeah. <laughs> Unless oh, they got cameras set up. Could be watching from afar. possible, but... Right? Like, I haven't seen one, but then again, like, this forest is a... There's a lot pretty of... Pretty dense, yeah. so it'd be kind of hard to, like, notice one single camera somewhere, right? Could have, like, a camouflage thing, too. You never know. I don't know, dude. It's it's Whoa. just... What? I almost walked right into the spider web there. Nice. This is why you wear a hoodie in the forest, folks. Yeah. Spiders. I mean, as long as it's not a black widow. Yeah. Then I, I will. I still don't like them on my face. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't really appreciate when things crawl on my face either. Right? So. Um, okay, well, it doesn't seem like there's anything else here. I mean, we could check the other, because this trail kind of forked, right? Yeah, that's true too. So I guess we could check the other side real quick, but there's nothing else here. Um, so the intent, I believe, was what? Untold story. So what's yeah. the story here? Is someone trying to tell us a story? Uh, uh, <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Really, like no. somebody's trying to barter for monkeys and dolphins and bananas. Bananas and I don't even remember what the last one was. It wasn't it trade the monkey for the Oh yeah, doll? trade a monkey for the doll. I don't want that doll. That doll's creepy. It's probably got something attached to it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know I some voodoo doll. I won't be surprised. It definitely looked like the type. Yeah. You think you're getting a prize, but really. Yeah. <laughs> Joke's on you. Heard something move out here. Now I'm hearing something moving out there. I don't know, man. I don't. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on out here. But if there's someone out here, can you just maybe like show yourself? Off, maybe. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't got bananas for you, or dolphins. I don't know where I'd get one, anyways. Okay. Well, we're gonna probably head out of here. Um, it's gone quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, it's gone this. pretty quiet. Should we go down here a little bit? Well, I let's mean, just take a peek anyways, just to see if there is anything else. No, I don't see anything. Okay, um, well, I guess that's where we're going to probably end this portion of the video off. Like I said, I do have all the... Uh, content left over from Arizona and we found some weird stuff there too yeah. like that one was also very concerning we actually had to call the police after that one just because you know just to let them know that there was something weird going on out there um but yeah thanks for watching so far um definitely you're gonna want to watch the next half of this video at least uh, apart from that Go and follow Frank. Uh, go and follow us on the podcast channel as well because it's going to be a lot of fun. You guys are going to want to watch that as well. So, yeah, we will uh, see you in a bit. Are you still recording? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> did I call it too soon? <laughs> That was literally like just down there <laughs> where we have to walk back to. Okay. I mean, could it have been from like the road? Cause the road is down there too. Or, or the parking lot. Or the parking lot. There's no like event going on right now, is there? No, nothing that I know of, no. I haven't heard of anything. Yeah. Canada Day is not yet. Mother's Day is in uh, the three this days. This weekend, yeah. But I mean, nobody's right. gonna shoot fireworks for that. I, Victoria I'm just trying Day to think is still of something. a few weeks away, so yeah. Maybe just somebody had to spare uh, for extra fireworks. Maybe, but uh, okay. I guess we'll uh, see you guys after. <laughs> Ready? Happy. Okay, we are uh, trying this again. Uh, welcome back to a brand new Randonautica adventure. Hopefully, because the first point we did here was a dud. You heard something move back there? Yeah, I did. That's why I kind of ran <laughs> <into> the camera. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. Neither do I. I'm going to turn up my uh, brightness here just so that... I don't see anything. Okay. Um, oh, no. It's a good start, I suppose. <laughs> um, so we are actually in Sedona, Arizona. I've never been here before. Um, this area is awesome. Like it looks the spectacular. There's like mountains everywhere, all sorts of cool, like rock formations. There's people like hang gliding and stuff. And what are we out here doing? Randonautica. 
Um, <laughs> so basically, uh, we've been on the road for almost a month now. It'll be exactly a month as of tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow we're gonna start heading home as well. We may or may not stop in Colorado. I have no idea what the hell we're doing yet. Um, but yeah, I basically ran the first point in the app using the intent final destination. That one was from Jessica. So shout out to Jessica. For those of you who are new here, who don't know what Randonautica is, it is essentially this very, very strange app um, that we've been using for quite a while now. I keep hearing something moving. It sounded like as if somebody was like walking or something yeah. out there. I don't know what the hell is going on. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, basically this app uses intentions. It's like a, uh, um, how would you word it? Like a science, I guess, uses quantum physics. Basically narrows down a point on the map somewhere nearby and around that point or exactly at the point, there should be something related to whatever your intent was. Now the intent that we got um, shows that it's about a mile in so we're gonna have to hike a little bit um but yeah let's uh hit the road hit the old dusty trail and uh see what it is that we find so far arizona has been fun it's always awesome coming here because the weather is so fucking awesome it's beautiful compared to back home back home is still kind of cool it's been rainy um i don't know i don't really want to go back home but eventually you know trips gotta end right can't stay here forever okay you ready frank yeah all right let's, let's do this. uh Let's see what we find. So this area, for one, has tons of freaking trails everywhere. We were actually at one trail earlier today and it was just fantastic. We saw these like seven pool things, which was really, really cool. But yeah, you can literally see there's like freaking trails all over the place. There's all sorts of little like monuments and stuff to check out. So if you're nearby or if you're heading out on a road trip, we would highly recommend coming. Definitely would. I know I'm coming back here eventually. Today we just kind of got like a little bit of a sneak peek, I guess you could say. <sighs> okay. Watch so it's out. Not <laughs> what? No, I'm just saying watch your step because the stony. Oh, yeah, okay. no, I don't know what snake. you're telling me watch out for. <laughs> this guy yells, watch out. I didn't yell. I was just... Okay, so... Generally speaking. Yeah, we heard something like walking over there. I mean, it could just be like a coyote or something. Just kind of roaming around. Maybe a mountain lion. Who knows? Really hope not a mountain lion. I don't know. I'm not really sure which uh, type of wildlife they have in this area but i would assume it's probably quite a bit yeah because it's very wildernessy out here <sighs> it's really interesting like the landscape and the it grounds is. and here is like very red yeah the ground is all red all over the place everybody's like property is all like yeah this. and your shoes get extremely dusty yeah i don't know if you guys can see that i mean some of it's coming up from the ground but <laughs> Okay. Stains everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wait, there's a house back there? I... Maybe. Okay. <laughs> kind of hope that's somebody else's dog. Right? A wild dog. I don't know. Do wild dogs bark like that? <sighs> it sounded like a just a house dog. Oh, it's like a pocket of hot air okay, right there. Okay, so you felt that too, yeah. Yeah, and then now we're just back to kind of cool air. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, I noticed here the uh, the weather is different. It's very cool at night. Whereas in Phoenix, it's been hot, even it, at night. Yeah, it stayed what? No humidity. Oh, something's what? moving over there. What was that? What did you see? I don't know. Probably just an animal? Hello? Animal? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, what is that? Oh, I think oh, I think it might just be a rabbit. Might have been a rabbit, yeah. <laughs> Hello, oh. Mr. Rabbit. Good eye. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I like saw this. something move. So... Oh, there's, there's another, another one. one. Oh my god, you startled me. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of rabbits. Oh, what the hell? Dude, there's literally a coffee mug. Oh. That's random. I was going to say, is it filled with water for rabbits? No, it looks like it's filled with rocks. Well, one rock to be specific. 
just watching for like you know snakes and shit. so we've been learning a little bit more about rattlesnakes recently and uh yeah that's weird ruth's 95th it's just like a printed picture of a who i assume would be ruth hmm. february 16 1912 It's like filled with dirt. It's hot chocolate. You should yeah. try it. <laughs> hot chocolate powder. Oh, something written here. Nothing on that side as far as I can tell. Okay. So there's like a house across the street and they're like blasting music or something this says if you see Ruth please call 480 and then there's a number there I'm not gonna probably not gonna show the phone number on the camera but okay where is Ruth and why is her mug here huh it's really I'd like to find a mug out here what the hell right like that is with Something Extremely like Extremely random, I'd say. Okay. So is our mission now to find Ruth, apparently? Maybe. I'm telling you guys, like, when we come out to the desert, we find the weirdest things. I mean, even back home sometimes, we find some super weird stuff. There's like yeah. a trail. Kind of looks like a ghost. Looks like here. a trail. But I'm pretty sure this is the main trail. So I probably shouldn't deviate too much. The thing I do like about Arizona, oh, there's like a thing over here. What the hell is that? Oh. See that? Yeah. So the thing I like about Arizona a little more than New Mexico is that I find the trails are more like open and the vegetation's a little more sparse, I guess you could say, in mm -hmm. some areas. So it's easier to look for, you know, things that could probably kill you. Yeah. <laughs> I guess depending on which area you come to, but what the heck? Ew. That's nasty. Yeah. London, 1971. Costa Coffee? What's Costa Coffee? I don't know. Is that like a restaurant? Or like a coffee shop or something? Could be. Kind of looks like a work uniform. A little bit. Doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Ooh. Please. You can okay. eat it. Eat the dust soon. <clears throat> oh, there's another thing here. Looks like another shirt. There's another hot pocket too. Uh? Another heat heat wave. Yeah. God damn. So much dust. I like went in my mouth. <laughs> USA Powerlifting, Pennsylvania, Pure Power, Penn State Powerlifting Club. Okay. Pennsylvania State High School, USA Powerlifting Championships, 2020. Reading, Pennsylvania, 1 to 19. 119, I guess. Okay. Uh, why are people just leaving their shirts behind? No. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. I really hate the pollution factor of human beings sometimes. I know, right? Like, it's a nice little trail. Like, you should try and at least maintain it. <sighs> oh, we got something else over here. What the f***? What is that? Looks like a mask? Yeah, it looks like some sort of clown mask. I don't know if that's a clown mask, but... I don't know. That. What the heck? I don't know if it's like a tribal thingy. I don't know. There's something on the back. Johnny Boy number one? What the hell that even mean? Or sorry. Hashtag one. People don't say number sign anymore. <laughs> what is the deal it's with that? Creepy thingy. Yeah. Okay. 
I wonder if it's like that movie, The Mask, you put it on, it gets stuck on your face. <laughs> <laughs> just turn into the mask? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, mind. but okay, at least the mask kind of looks cool and you're going to turn into that guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a little creepy. Okay, well that's strange. Uh, is there anything else? Anybody here? Oh, it got a lot warmer all of a sudden. I know. Ooh, yeah, definitely a lot warmer. It's like a five degree at least change. What's going on over here? Uh -huh. Okay, so we found a mug of a woman named Ruth, who apparently is missing, I guess, who's also 95 plus. <laughs> plus, yeah. We got two shirts, one from a Costa Coffee and another from a powerlifting championship, and then we got a mask. Weird. And we're nowhere near our point yet. Really? Yeah. It was showing approximately a mile in. A mile? Yeah, <laughs> give or take. This is gonna be a good walk. I mean, a mile's not that bad. We did like four miles today. That's my point. You know, we're doing another mile there, a mile back. Yeah, doesn't look like there's anything else, so. Uh, I guess once we get a little closer, we will uh, update you guys again. Uh, we got something here. What does that say? Looks like it says Johnny, and then I'm guessing boy, hashtag one. <laughs> boy Scouts of America, be prepared. Huh, indeed. I was going to say if there's any liquid, but that didn't sound like there was any liquid in there. Nope, Oops. bone dry. I mean, if it's been out here for a while, it probably just dehydrated or evaporated. Yeah, nothing in there. Just that. Okay. Who is this John E person? <laughs> Johnny boy. Johnny boy. Wasn't there like a movie or something where there was a <sighs> phrase like that? The only thing Johnny I can, or something. Yeah, that like? was The Shining. Is that, that what that was? I, yeah, where he, like here's Johnny. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was uh, <laughs> Jack Nicholson, I think. Fantastic movie, fantastic actor. He played that role so well. Looks like there's something there. See that? Oh, on the floor. Yeah. Oh, and there's something there too. I just saw. Wait, what did you what see? That? I don't know. I see some like white thing over oh, there. I didn't even see that. <laughs> God, the dust really gets to your lungs after a while. Don't do it. I touched one earlier. It went in my finger. That's not that bad. No. No, they're just like toothpicks. What the hell is this? It's a spider. Hmm? Is it spider? Where? Right there. It's a weird oh. looking one, but... Hello, spider. I don't like spiders. Hoop Zone. League MVP. Oh, somebody lost their sweater. Okay. It's a kid sweater, if I'm not... Yeah. yeah. The hell, that spider was crawling on my foot. Did you hear that? What was that? There's like something, the music sounds like it's coming from the parking lot now. Yeah. Which was empty. Yeah, it was complete, there was no one there. Okay. So what is this white thing? I think it might just be a rock. Is it? Wait, I hear talking from in there. It's all bush. Huh? It's all bush too. It's I know. I mean, well, I don't know if the trail like maybe veers that way. I can go take a look. Oh, there's a uh, water canteen and a blue thing. Oh, okay. 
Is that a dog bag? I was gonna say, that's a poop bag, isn't it? Water for Kids International. Restoring hope through safe water, one village at a time. Starbucks, official sponsor. And sixth annual World Water Day, Phoenix, April 6, 2013. A walk in their shoes. Wow, that's old. That is old. H2O. Official speech to I'm pretty sure that's the Hurley logo, if I'm not mistaken. Is it poop? No, I think it might be empty. <laughs> oh no, there's something in here. Okay. The hell? Cigarette butts? The f okay. That's a random place to put your cigarette butts. Yeah, for yeah. real. That's interesting. I keep hearing something back at the parking lot, it seems. Is there anything else around here? There was that water canteen thing that's behind you. I don't see anything over here, though. No, I don't see anything either. Just that uh, rattlesnake over there. Yeah. <laughs> so the other day we learned how to kill a rattlesnake. Oh my god, that it's was so It's pretty brutal. brutal. So I, I couldn't like really see the vantage point of the guy, but he was just like put his foot down. It looked like he put his foot on the rattle. Yeah. Which was weird. I don't know if that's how you do it, but then he just literally picked it up and he just held it like this. He's like, you just gotta whip it like a towel. <laughs> and he I don't just know smashed he, its head. I yeah, think. yeah, I don't know. I guess he just smashed his head on a rock, broke its neck, and it just was dead. He's like, yeah, you don't cut the heads off. People do that, but the heads will still turn. And... They'll bite you still. Yeah. There's something else here, too. Looks like a postcard. It's a weird-ass postcard. Yeah. Oh, it's like a wooden postcard. Grand Canyon National Park. That's pretty cool. Durable wooden postcard. To whom it may concern, every night I see a man walking alone on the trail after 9 p.m. Then, around... 11 p.m. I can hear screaming as if someone is getting murdered. I've been waiting close to see what happens or watching. I don't know if it's watching close to see what That's happens. Weird, I to read that. Yeah, I can't read the name there. Looks like it says like Rhea or something. It's an R for sure. Yeah. Birchwood Real? display. I don't know. I got no idea. Okay. And another, it's a second canteen. OS, I don't know what OS is. Bone dry. Very weird. It makes sense out here in the desert. Yeah. Guess we'll go and check to see what might be this way. Okay, well, so far this has been really weird. Yeah. <laughs> One the least. Yeah. Oh, there's another thing here. Another piece of clothing, I assume. What's oh, with the clothing? Prepare for the dust. That's this one. ASU. Watts College of Public Service and Community Solutions, Arizona State University. I didn't even know Arizona had a state university. Camp Co-op 2018. What is that supposed to be? Like Poseidon or something? Well, that's his... At first I thought maybe it was like the devil, but... <clears throat> that's what I was thinking. Yeah, because he's got like the pointy the ears. Isn't it's it? Gotta be. Yeah, it's got like pointy ears. I think it's their horns. It's holding up a three. And then he's got like the pointy tail. I haven't got no idea. I'm going to guess the devil. Maybe. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, Okay, what's up with all the uh, random pieces of clothing out here? And none of them really right? match up to anything. No, they're all just kind of random. One was a kid's. Is that behind you? I'm not sh well. What was that this way? Oh, things echo a little bit. Yeah, just a bit. Hello? Trying to figure out where the hell it's coming from. I don't even know if the microphone is picking it up. Not sure. It's really faint. Yeah.
There's nothing else. Have we even walked a mile yet? Uh, I'd say pretty close. Over three, well, three quarters, at least. Yeah. I would say about three quarters. Well, I guess we'll uh, double check to see how far in we've gotten to see if we even got to our point. We found like a whole bunch of stuff so far. It's yeah. Kind of odd. Um, but okay. Let's. How was that? Did you hear that? Something just moved back there. Oh, we're hearing dogs everywhere. Yeah, I hear dogs too. Someone back there? What the hell was that? It almost sounded like a. I don't know. I don't know what that was. Somebody hit like something wood or. Yeah. I got no idea. Oh, see this. Oh. This does go this way. Okay. Oh, that's like the side of a mountain right there. Oh wow. Well. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even tell. That's not really a mountain. It's like a like a cliff kind of. I, mean, I don't know what. On there's a, a certain term for these types of mountains. I just don't remember exactly what it is. They are beautiful though. That's for sure. The scenery is just. Yeah. Stunning. Absolutely something else. Uh. Okay, I guess we gotta check if we gotta go that way or this way. I have no idea, so let's just check and uh, find out. So we checked um, how far in we still have to go and we're pretty much approaching our point right now. For a second I thought that was a snake, but it's just a, just a crack of the dirt. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Okay. These warm pockets are so random. Huh? The warm pockets we keep like walking into. Yeah, it's like random heat waves. What the hell was that? I swear I just saw somebody move up there. I don't see anyone now. Somebody up there? So many like side trails and over here yeah for real what is that purple thing that looks like it's smiling i know that's <laughs> creepy what the hell? <laughs> it's staring right at us it's like upside down smiling yeah okay it has teeth be careful uh, <laughs> it can bite us <laughs> at any given moment what the heck it's got an envelope in here is it envelope or envelope? Envelope. Envelope. Yeah. Envelope. Envelope. It's from Hallmark. <laughs> Party. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Is this some sort of invitation it looks like? Yeah, it's not the first time we found an invitation either. No, it's not. We found something, it was a party one too, if I remember correctly. Yep, it was. Hello, my name is John. I go by Johnny Boy. Oh my god. I've been living here a while, nowhere else to go. So now I call this home. Not going to lie. Sounds like something is moving out there. Yeah. I mean, if there is somebody actually out here right now, there's a lot of hiding places. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to lie, it bothers me when people come late at night. Okay. Great. But it provides me with sustenance and nourishment when they do. Hold on. What? What? Johnny boy, hashtag one. You, I, me, I, us, I, them, I, they are all dead. What the f Hold on, hold on, hold on. That sounds like cannibalism. That's exactly what I was just thinking. Sustenance is like when you eat. Like yeah. You need sustenance like for energy. Right. Okay. Somebody's playing music again. Yeah. And then it says they are all dead. What? The f 
Oh, uh, okay, then. okay, so apparently Johnny Boy's a little messed up. Yeah. Yo, if we're dealing with like a cannibal murderer type of dude. There's a name on here, I just noticed that. Oh, is there? Yeah. Was it Jane? Jane? No. I don't know, I can't really read. J Jaina? It looks like it's J A A N A. Jaina, yeah. Jaina? Yo, if we're dealing with like a murderer out here right now. Uh... Never mind a murderer, it's also a cannibal. Yeah, that's something. Here, a truck off in the distance. That's very concerning. Uh, wait. Yeah. Did you just fucking hear that? Yeah, that's messed up. That was, that was loud. What the fuck? Hello? Do you remember what that postcard thing said? Uh, I'm not that they've been watching somebody coming in late at night, like around 9 p.m. What time is and it? And then by like 11, they hear a scream. Well, it's currently 9.40. Okay. So... But if this person comes in here every night at 9, we're, we're hearing somebody screaming, just like that postcard said. Not at the exact same time, but... Close enough. Feels like one of those episodes or the movie The Hills Have Eyes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Or like wrong turn or something. Yeah. Except I don't want to be a victim. <laughs> no. Not tonight, man. Not tonight. Any other night, but not tonight. No, no night. No victim night. Is there anything else around here? So I think this is pretty much the point. Like we've just about made it. Somebody. Who's up there? It sounded like somebody like yelped. Looks like there's like a house or something over there too. Yeah. Are we like on the hunt of like a murderer right now? Is that what's uh, happening? Either on the hunt or being hunted. Uh, one or the other. Saw somebody, they're like behind that tree. What the fuck? See that tree off there yeah, in the yeah. distance? I just saw somebody stand, like they came out for like a second. That was weird. Maybe there's more than one person out here right now? There are no cars in the parking lot. There should not be a single person here right now. It would not make sense as to why somebody, apart no. from us, would be here right now. I don't know. I don't think we should go any closer. Okay, that's a bit much. Um, yeah. I think we will probably start heading back because uh, we got to head out tomorrow anyways. Somebody just like throw a rock. <laughs> I heard <laughs> you something. You hear that? Yeah. It sounded like something like landed like right next to us. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe something just moved. But um, 
Yeah, let's maybe just go back to Phoenix because this is just a little bit too creepy. Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, we'll figure out what to do if any, because if somebody's like hurt out here, we need to do something. So I might maybe just go back to the car and then maybe we'll just call the cops. We'll just make a little show report. Show them what we found. Yeah. Because uh, that's kind of up. Yeah, for sure. Kind of just a little bit. Or a little lot. A little a lot? A lot a little. A lot a little. Okay, let's, uh, let's just head back to the car. Um, okay, so we get got back to the parking lot just because I felt a little uncomfortable. If there is in fact somebody out there and they're doing that, that's f***ed up. So, um, just got off the phone with uh, Constable Wallace and uh, he said that he's going to be doing some sort of investigation. Um, I'm going to pass off the written thing that I had found to him once he gets here and uh, maybe he can like trace it by fingerprints or something. I don't know what the deal is with this Johnny boy person but uh, yeah that's kind of weird and a little bit disturbing mildly. Extremely disturbing. Yeah so. Uh, sorry someone just starts to move over there. Yeah I heard that too. I see anything though. No. Someone's talking. You hear that? Yeah. Okay, whatever. We're gonna get a move on to uh, Phoenix because we got like a two hour drive. Um, I guess we did as much as we could out here for now and then we'll just continue on somewhere else. Um, so we get, we'll see you guys at the uh, next destination. <laughs> Thank you.